Hi and welcome to this demo on the new text tool integrated inside of Mari Extension Pack 4 that finally brings text support inside of Mari. In Mari 4, the text tool can be found quite prominently together with the other tools in this toolbar on the left side here. And in Mari 3, it's a bit more tucked away, so you need to open the Extension Pack toolbar and in here you have the text tool as well. For the purpose of this demo, I will show the tool inside of Mari 4. After launching the tool, you'll be greeted with this dialog that allows you to set and edit your text. If I move this dialog away a little bit, you can see I already have something in my viewport. I will not try to explain everything because in the end it is a text tool, so you should be familiar with the basics of it, but there are some tool specific things that I'm going to cover here. Mostly the Mari specific stuff is here in the right hand side of the dialog and the first thing is the text generation mode. The text generation mode allows you to either create a paint through image or render directly to the paint buffer. By default, it's on paint through image and I've immediately have a paint through image rendered and you can see I can modify it the same way as I would any other image. If I look in the image manager, I can see I have a text generator image created here and if I write something new, this image gets updated. This image keeps getting overwritten, so whenever you change the text, this image will get replaced. If you want to keep at any point your image or your rendered text, you can change the unique file name down here. And for example, now if I generate the text again, I now have two different files inside of my image manager and this way I don't lose my original one. The path where these images are saved to are set in your project path. So by default, I'm using the image path. So if I go to my project path, I have in here images. And in this case, it's just my user directory, but this is where your image is really saved to. If you choose the text generation mode paint buffer, the result of the text tool will be directly rendered into the buffer. So now I can see I have my paint buffer here and the tool also switches you over directly to the transform paint tool. So now I can modify my paint buffer and rotate it around as I would see fit and bake things down. With the paint buffer mode active, some additional tools become active down here. So these are standard Mari tools such as clear paint buffer, bake and clear and bake. We also have a reset function. So if I do some transformation and I want to reset buffer, it snaps back to the way it was. This reset mode is slightly different than the reset buffer button up here that is on the transform paint tool because this reset buffer in the Mari default will reset the buffer to a size that is standard to Mari. However, this reset buffer inside of the text generator will reset your buffer to the way it was when the tool first was launched. So this way, if you're using a custom buffer uh, size, for example, I always have it just visible inside of my viewport. So if I were to launch a tool and do some crazy modifications, if I reset it, it resets it exactly to the dimensions that I like to work with. We also have the resolution here. So for paint through images, this is obviously the image resolution that is generated. And for the paint buffer, this sets your paint buffer resolution. So you can see I have a 2K buffer. And if I switch this to 512, I'm going to get a 512 buffer. Obviously, generating high resolution text is a bit slower. So it is a nice way to work to set your buffer resolution a bit lower and then just generate the text high res in the end. For this purpose, there's a screen space text size option here, and this will keep the text size in your image or in your paint buffer at the same size, no matter what the resolution. So for example, let me take this off. And now if I change my resolution to 2K, you can see the text size got a lot uh, smaller because obviously the point size of the text is still the same, but the resolution got a lot bigger. If I tick this on again, the resolution or the relative size of the text in my image is the same no matter what resolution I'm at. Scale this down a little bit. Next up we have the position and this determines where Mari places the text. So if I do this in the corner, it's up in the corner. Let me switch my resolution a little bit lower. So I can move the text around wherever I want. This is different from regular text alignment. So if I type more text, you can see it's always left bound in this case. If you want to change the actual alignment, you use the textile options for alignment. And now I have my text nicely centered. Let's quickly cover some of these left hand side features. It pretty much contains all the standard stuff you would expect from a text tool. 
one thing that is Mari specific is the text size multiplier here next to the actual font size. So if I change my font size here and generate the text, I can also scale the font size up uniformly. So if I apply a multiplier to it, you can see my text or my render text gets a lot bigger without having to actually change all the individual font sizes. So this is quite a handy way of quickly generating larger text or making more use of your actual image space. When working with all these different value fields, we have several different options to edit them. We have first the Mari way of using control up and down. And depending where your cursor is placed, it edits the numbers in ones, tens, or one hundreds. We also have the Photoshop way of just dragging on this button next to the individual fields, which also increments the numbers. And you might have noticed that I don't have a selection. However, any change here gets applied to the entire word that is under the cursor. So if I just place my cursor inside the first word and for example, set it to bold, the entire word gets set to bold. I can obviously also make it specific just to individual letters or a selection. We also have some more Photoshop-like ways of editing text. So we have the character spacing, we have word spacing, the writing system to limit what fonts you're gonna see, and the font stretch. So the font stretch applies a stretching factor to your font. However, this is a bit specific because first of all, this feature is only available in the Mari 4 version of this tool. And even there, there's a limitation that it only works up to a certain font size. So if the font size goes over 47, and that includes multipliers, screen space, text size, etc., then this feature will not render anymore correctly. I hope to fix this in the future, but for now, this is just a limitation that we have to work with. So if you're done, you generate your text and hopefully this will save you some time and some round trips to Photoshop or Krita and you can just directly enter and create your text inside of Mari.